Hello everyone, welcome to Two Minute Teacher Tech. I'm Adam Howard, and today I'm here to tell you about a wonderful little application called Kahoot. Kahoot is a gamification app for your classroom that is very engaging and very easy to use. We're going to be able to get you up and running in just a couple of minutes, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to getkahoot.com. It's going to take you to their landing page, and in the upper right hand corner, there's going to be a sign up for free button. Go ahead and click that, and that's where we're going to start today from scratch. It's going to take you to an account creation page that's very simple and straightforward. All you need is an email address. It has you create a username and a password. It also has a, a, a place for you to put in your role and your school or university, but you don't have to fill those in. Those are optional. Once you get your account created, it's going to take you to your new home page that will allow you to create three different types of cahoots. There are quiz, discussion, and survey cahoots. And this will also be the page where you can track your statistics from your past cahoots. All right, so I'm gonna show you the multiple choice Quizlet. It's very straightforward. You just begin creating questions. Um, I'm going to copy and paste my questions over from my Quizlet account, also a great application. And you just select one answer as correct. It also gives you the opportunity to add pictures to your questions which I think is really cool. And then you can mess with the time limit for each questions and the appoint allotment and that kind of thing also. I'm just gonna create a couple of questions right here uh, really quick so I can give you an idea of how this works. Oh, I forgot to click one is correct. It kicked you back out. All right, and here we go. And then it will take you to this screen where you're able to create a description for your Quizlet. And then um, it also gives you the option to add a video or a picture that the kids can watch while they're waiting at the startup screen. Um, these are the additional options. It gives you the, uh, the option to randomize your questions and your answers or to automatically move through the quiz. I like to leave it on manual so I can stop in between questions and kind of revisit what the kids are having a hard time with. So there we go. We've created a Kahoot. It gives you the pin in the upper left-hand corner. The kids will need to go to Kahoot.it and it's very simple. It only gives them one option. They enter that pin and it will prompt them to enter a name or a nickname if they would like and then we'll push to this screen right here and then you're ready to go all you got to do once you get all your kids signed up is hit start and it will take you to the questions um, I've sped these questions up I'm gonna give you a couple examples here of how it works it works a lot like a lot of other pub trivia games the quicker they answer the more points they get and as time goes on the points diminish if they answer incorrectly they don't get any points and in between each question it will show a leaderboard and the kids can uh, really get into who's winning and who's losing and that kind of stuff. It, it, gets, it gets really heated. It's a lot of fun. It's very engaging. The kids really enjoy it. Um, I'm going to kick over to a video right quick of my class playing this very Kahoot and uh, just kind of show you how fired they get, how, uh, how competitive they can be. All right, everyone. That pretty much does it for our demonstration of Kahoot. Very simple and straightforward, easy to use. As far as the review, I think this is an outstanding app. I think it's very fun and engaging, and its ease of use is just outstanding. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this in your class, and I look forward to reading about it in my comments. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe below. Each week, Two Minute Teacher Tech will be bringing you new videos of classroom technology and teacher hacks in a very concise and easy to understand way that respects your time budget. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks.